Here are the list of our ingredients. First thing we're going to do is to add all the dry ingredients except the oatmeal. So first we're going to add the flour. Cocoa powder. Baking powder. Baking soda. Ground cinnamon. Salt. Now we're going to mix using a whisk. Let's make sure that all ingredients are well blended. After mixing all the dry ingredients, we're going to set it aside. And now we're going to cream our butter and sugar. So first thing is we're going to add the butter. So this is a softened butter at room temperature. And then we will add the brown sugar. And after that is followed with the white sugar. By the way, as per instructions, so we are adding one tablespoon of each sugar. The last time, we used a hand whisk to mix all the ingredients, but this time, I bought a new hand mixer. So we're going to use a hand mixer to cream our butter and sugar. So we're going to use from low speed to high speed in just one minute. In this part, we're going to use a rubber spatula so we have to scrape the butter here on the sides of the bowl so that we can whisk them again. Okay, once you see that the mixture is a little bit fluffy, so we're going to add our egg. So we have to add them one by one. We're going to use two eggs in this procedure. So we're going to add our first egg and then mix it again.
are now going to add the second egg and add another ingredient which is our vanilla extract so we're going to put two teaspoons of vanilla extract and this cream butter And now we're done with our cream, butter, and sugar. We're going to add now the dry ingredients into the mixing bowl. And I'm sure you know what's next. So we're going to mix them all together. So first we are doing the folding method by using a rubber spatula. Alright, so we're almost done. Now we're going to mix them using the hand mixer. So we'll have to wait until the consistency becomes fluffier before we're going to add our very last ingredient. comes the last part of the cookie dough mixture we're going to add the Quaker oats and then mix them well using a rubber spatula okay so we're doing it the right way Guys, don't forget to preheat your oven before baking anything. So at this point, I am now preparing our baking sheet. So I am putting a wax paper where we are going to put our cookie dough.
side. So we'll just have to make sure that each corner is covered. All right. Thank you. 